Why are you willing to make this an issue? Do you think? Uh, I mean, well, it's it, sort it, it of like the to one of my, issue. It happened to one of my, my older boys, um, uh, where I was, um, I was essentially tricked into uh, signing documents uh, for one of my older boys, Xavier. Uh, this was before I had really any understanding of what was going on, and we had COVID going on, and so uh, there was a lot of confusion. Um, and um, you know, I was told, "Oh, he, you know, Xavier might commit suicide if if he." That was a that was a lie right from the outset. No reliable clinician ever believed that. There was never any evidence for that. And also, if there's a higher suicide rate, the reason is is because of the underlying depression and anxiety, and not because of the gender dysphoria. And every right. goddamn clinician knows that too. And they're too cowardly to come out and say it, right? And so that, and then we end up in exactly, when, when I saw that lie start to propagate, it just made the hair on the back of my neck stand up. It's like, I see. So you're, you're telling parents that unless they agree to this radical transformation that their children are going to die, and you think that's moral, and you think that's true. That's so pat, that is so pathological that it's almost incomprehensible. I can't imagine anything worse of, I can't imagine a therapist doing anything worse than that or sitting by idly and remaining silent while his colleagues are doing it. It's pathetic. Uh, it's it's uh, incredibly evil. And I agree with you that people that have been promoting this should go to prison. Uh, I, it won't stop till that happens. Yeah. It'll just go underground. There's all, puberty blockers are being accessed online by kids all the time through non-medical channels. So yeah, right. it's not gonna stop. Yeah. Okay, so I see. So that's so I was I was tricked into doing this, um, and uh, you know it wasn't explained to me that puberty blockers are actually just sterilization drugs. Um, so um, anyway, uh, and so I lost my son essentially. Uh, so you know they uh, they call it dead naming for a reason. Yeah. I all right, I'm, so the, the reason it's called dead naming is because uh, your son is dead. So my son Xavier is dead. He's killed by the woke mind virus. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. I can't imagine what that would be like. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, and there's lots can, of people in that situation now. Right. It's not pretty. And lots of demolished kids. Yes. Yeah, well, that's a good that's a good reason to be the final straw. All right, so let's. So I'm about to destroy the mind, the woke mind virus after that. 